For almost three decades, this has been the story of Somalia. A level of insecurity that killed off a once thriving tourism industry. Yet this is the image Somali's government is determined to promote. And beautiful beaches are just one of the country's natural assets. Uh, Somalia reach of the, the, the longest coastline in Africa and facing the Indian Ocean. At the same time, we have where the, the, the river and the sea joins in Gobwin, uh, Kismayo, near to Kismayo. And by Debo also we have waterfalls. We have in Bosaso hot spring. We have uh, caves. We have uh, the white sand. So all this, it's, it's part of the tourism. Bafo is part of the team that last year successfully pushed for Somali's admittance to the UN's World Tourism Organization. Officials are hoping that will help Somalia remake its international image. The Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism also is trying to promote the country to foreigners. Already tourists are coming here. 40 of them in 2017, including visitors from China. That's some way behind regional tourism rivals Kenya and Uganda. But travel agents say business is picking up. We have been hosting a lot of people from the EU continent and the US and the Asia also. So um, this week and this week, we also the first ever Singaporean citizen in, in our country, which give us another, you know, uh, pleasure. It may take decades for Somali to join the list of must-see African attractions. But if the plan succeeds, tourism could help flip the country's fortunes. Sony Matthew, CGTN.